this is uh, DevTalk, and we are on Peter Pie conference. At the DevTalk initiative, we are trying to get uh, short interviews from the developers, from the speakers, and uh, exactly at this conference, Peter Pie, we're getting interviews from the persons of the Python world. And here we have uh, Miroslav. Nice, nice to meet you here. Hello, thank you. And uh, if I recall correctly, you gave your talk already. Uh, yes at the first day at the conference yesterday. So how was it? Tell me. Uh, this is my first time at Peter Pie. Thank you for the invitation. Um, and the talk was about uh, time zones, about problems with time zones all around the world. Um, it was the first time I gave it at this conference. Uh, it was uh, not only about how to handle day times and time zones in Python, but also where all this information about time zones comes into our computers, into the databases. Um, and uh, the talk was very nice. The audience uh, reacted uh, very nicely, and there were a lot of questions. It was an interesting discussion afterwards. Well, we discussed your talk already a little bit, and uh, time zones is like an endless, endless topic for the yeah. programmer. So it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, there is, uh, I believe, a joke that uh, every programmer once in a lifetime had had to make a talk about time zones and stuff <laughs> like that. And every talk will be different because the time zones are changing uh, every month, every year. Several countries are changing their time zones politics randomly. So it's your first Peter Pi, and uh, while you were talking about how was it to give a speech about time zones, how was the first day in general, in your feeling? Um, Python conferences are very welcoming, so it was very nice to meet uh, other fellow speakers. And to discuss with them, yeah. meet the sponsors, meet the organizers, and uh, all other talks were also new to me. Uh, so I also learned uh, quite a new, quite a lot of new stuff uh, at other talks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what are you, for example, expecting from the second day? There are some more talks I would like to see, and I'm going to give a lighting talk tonight. Uh, Whoa! What 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 it be about? At uh, Peter Pi, I'm go just going to invite people to the German PyCon. Ah, I'm helping in the organization. Uh, You're one of the organizers of. Uh, I was PyCon. in the past two years uh, in the German city of Karlsruhe. Uh, next year, it will take place in Berlin, in October, um, and uh, I, maybe I'm probably going to help uh, in the organization again. So I would like to see more people from Russia uh, coming to Germany. So now you've been on Peter Pi and you've been on uh, PyCon Deutschland, I believe, and uh, maybe some other PyCons. Yes, I started last year uh, with uh, conferences on Python. Before, uh, I started with Python like 10 years ago, but the whole time I was thinking I'm just learning, learning, learning new stuff. And meeting other people at conferences meant like, oh, they, they know so much, I have just to learn from them and I have nothing to tell. About but then uh, last year at the German PyCon I started uh, giving uh, talks, and this year uh, PyCon Py, Peter Pi or Russia actually is already my ninth uh, country uh, where I gave uh, talks. So I have been to several PyCons all around Europe. How would you? Uh, so you've been, uh, I would say you have been uh, to a lot of such events. How would you compare the differences, for example, uh, between Peter Pi and uh, PyCon Dodge you're doing? Uh, Peter Pi is. Uh, it is in a city in a large country. Um, there, it is more like regional for us, for me. I see most people attend this uh, are Russian speaking. And uh, the difference is, for example, that uh, you have an interpreter service for in when there is a talk in English, it will be interpreted into Russian and vice versa. And this is something that I find very, very welcoming because there are people who are interested in Python and maybe who are not so strong in the English language. Have you yourself tried to listening uh, to any Russian speaking uh, talks in our uh, Yes, yes, I, I understand quite a lot of Russian, so I uh, followed uh, some Russian talks uh, and also spoke to the interpreters uh, about their job. It's not an easy one because uh, IT talks uh, in, in more other, m most other languages are like you speak in the other language, uh, but you have to use uh, 10, 20, 30 percent of English words because you don't want to translate uh, some technical terms uh, into your language because they don't make sense. You tell them simply in English. And if you want to interpret this into your local language, it, uh, it can be difficult. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's it so far. Uh, thank you. And uh, I will be 
waiting for your lightning talk and maybe I will come to the Germany to the PyCon Dodge. You're welcome. We're looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This was uh, DevTalk. Bye.